You are given the following adjacency list representation of a graph. Select the resulting minimum spanning tree. So the way we do this is we set this up as vertex, parent, and weight, and we'll also have priority queue for the edges. So we'll start out at zero with no parent and no weight, and we are going to put the outgoing edges into the priority queue. So first we have zero to two with a weight of four. Then we would say, I'll say zero to three with a weight of five, and then zero to one with a weight of six. So now we investigate two, because that's not the top of priority queue. We say it's parent is zero with a weight of four. Now we investigate the outgoing edges from two. Now we have five and six. The outgoing edge from two to five is a weight of seven. So we put that at the bottom of the queue. The outgoing of edge from two to six is four. So now that's actually at the top because this one's been removed. So now six's parent is two with a weight of four. So now we're going to investigate all the outgoing edges from seven, from six, excuse me. That becomes six to seven with a weight of three. So seven's parent is six with a weight of three. There are no outgoing edges on seven. So now we remove that from the priority queue. And I'm going to erase these three for space and simplicity. Now we have zero to three with a weight of five. So now we're going to say that three's parent is zero with a weight of five. And we're going to investigate the, all the outgoing edges from three. We have three to six with a weight of two. We have three to two with the weight of three. And we have three to four with a weight of four. So those are all above what's currently in the priority queue. So now we look at three and six. Six has already been visited, but we see that the weight from three to six is two and the weight from two to six is four. So we can update this with six's new parent being three with a weight of two. Now we have three and two. Two has also been visited, but the edge from zero to two had a weight of four. And since it beats it, we now say that two's new parent is going to be three with a weight of two. Now we have three and four. Four has not been visited, so we say four's parent is three with a weight of four. And then we're gonna look at all the outgoing edges. So now we have four to seven has a weight of five. So four to seven with a weight of five. Seven's already been investigated and the weight from six to seven had a weight of three. So therefore, these get beat. Now that those have all been removed, we have to investigate zero to one with a weight of six. We have not visited one yet, so we say one's parent is zero with a weight of six. From there, we investigate all the outgoing edges at one. At one, we have zero to two with a weight of five. We have zero to four with a weight of three, zero to two with a weight of five. I'm sorry, these are all one, my apologies. One to five with a weight of six. So first we investigate one to four with a weight of three. That currently beats three to four with a weight of four, so we update the parent and the weight. Now we look at one to two with a weight of five. This does not beat three to two with a weight of two, so that gets removed from the priority queue. Next we have one to five with a weight of six. Right now we say one's parent is going to be, I mean five's parent is going to be one with a weight of six, and remove it from there. Last but certainly not least, we have two to five. Five has already been investigated. And so now what we see is that we have five's outgoing edges we need to investigate. So five to four has a weight of two. Five to seven has a weight of four. And five to six has a weight of five. Five to four is a weight of two. Two's current parent, a four's current parent is one with a weight of three. So therefore we can update this by saying four's new parent is five with a weight of two. We can eliminate that. Five to two has a weight of four. Two to th three to two had a weight of two, so therefore that doesn't beat it. Five to six has a weight of five. Three to six had a weight of two, so that doesn't beat it. So therefore we have our final representation. We have now gone through all of 
the vertices, and now it's just translating this into an adjacency list representation. So we have vertex and list. And for simplicity, I'm not going to include the weights. Outgoing, we have one and three. For one, we have its parent, it has an outgoing to five. Two and three are not parents of, I'm sorry, two is not a parent of anything. Three is a parent of two and six. Four is not the parent of anything. Five is the parent of four. Six is the parent of seven, and seven is not the parent of anything. So we translate this and go into our choices, and we see that choice B matches exactly with what we have derived.